من يطيع الرسول فقد اطاع الله اجين ذا سيم ثينج اطاع رسول هاز تو بي اوبيد مسنجر هاز تو بي اوبيد توتالي انكنديشنلي من يطيع الرسول فقد اطاع الله هو سو ايفر اوبيز ذا بروفيت ذا مسنجر اكشولي از اوبيينغ الله ومن تولى فما ارسلناك عليهم حفيظا and whosoever turns his back to this to this attitude he doesn't want to obey muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so o oh muhammad we have not sent you over them as watchers or keepers you are not responsible they will be responsible they will be held responsible for their own deeds and attitudes wa yaquluna ta'ah and they say when in the presence of the prophet they say okay we accept ta'ah obedience we declare our obedience faiza barazu min indika and when they go out from your presence bayyata ta'ifatum minhum ghair alladhi taqul now a group among them is passing their night saying and planning something contrary to what you said this is hypocrisy the double mindedness the double facedness in your presence they say ta ah, we declare our obedience allegiance but when they go out now in the, during the hours of night they are planning something else something to the contrary ghair alladhi taqul wallahu yaktubu ma yubayyitun only they don't know that allah is writing and recording what they are planning during the night they are ignoring that allah knows everything farid on whom again ignore them this is very important for the second time arid on whom don't engage with them o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam a time will come when allah subhanahu wa taala will allow you to punish them just as at makkah be patient no retaliation in the same way at madina although muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was established he had men mu'minin with him but you know the hikmah the wisdom the divine wisdom just ignore them for the time being don't engage with them farid an hum wa tawakkal allah now there can be could be the idea if we ignore them but they are conspiring they are trying to undo what i am doing how can i ignore them but tawakkal ala allah you have total faith and confidence in allah he will rectify whatever wrong they are doing he will look to these things you should have your faith and your total dependence and confidence in allah waqafa billahi wakila allah is sufficient as a guardian he will guard you they will not be able to do any harm to you they are only you know they are only having fire for them collecting fire cinders for them for the hereafter no harm will come to you but just ignore them afala yatadabbarun alquran walau kana min indi ghairi allah lawajadu fihi ikhtilafan kaseera now why this nifaq because they are not pondering over quran the only source of true faith real faith burning faith pulsating iman burning iman thrilling iman is quran as balana zafar ali khan said wo jins nahi iman jise le aaye dukane falsafa se dhoonde se milegi aqil ko ye quran ke si paaro mein ponder deep into its meanings and if you feel that something within you is oscillating with the oscillation of the quran vibrating with the same frequencies as quran the sympathetic vibration which you feel within you it will give you the conviction that the source of my soul and the source of this book is the same my soul and spirit has come from allah and this book this word of allah has also come from allah and that will give you the conviction by your own personal experience because conviction can come only through experience but because we know only the external experience this is hot this is cold this is black this is white 
something within us our spiritual existence has its own spiritual experience which allama iqbal has described in his lectures the inner internal experience that are by batani if you feel within you then you have the total conviction afala irata burun al quran are they not pondering over quran walau kana min inda ghairi allah la wajadu fi ikhtilafan kasira had it been from some other source except allah you would have found contradictions in it a book which has been revealed to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam over a period of 22 or 23 years but this thay theme is the same no contradiction from the very beginning as you know if somebody if he is himself composing there is a poet or somebody some prose writer we always see that the early writings were not so mature his early poems but not so mature but not of such high level of literature but as time progressed we find you know that he could produce better better poems better prose what about quran the best came in the very beginning the bakki surahs they are the most profound surahs very concise the most important examples you know of liter literary beauty they are the makki surahs in the very beginning so actually there is no contradiction this is not written by muhammad this is not the composition of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam walau kana min ghairi min inda ghairi allah la wajadu fi ikhtilafan kasira wa iza jaahum amrun amrun min al amn another attitude of the munafiqin i told you this is to expose them to expose them for the muslims true moments so that they should know this internal enemy this is the fifth columnist you know element within your ranks and an open enemy who is attacking from front is less harmful from this enemy who is attacking you from within your own ranks so you must know them to expose them and also to expose them to themselves so that they can have some hard searching if there is some good in them that good should prevail over the bad in them so that they should know that this is the attitude and this allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very well knows waiza jaahum amru min al amn wal khauf if some news comes to them regarding peace or war some news has come azau bihi they spread it broadcast it this iza this word is used today for broadcasting radio broadcasting izaat al jumhuriyat al muttahidat al arabiya min al qahira this is you know this the, the broadcasting of jumhuriyat al muttahida you know this is about 20 years or 30 years back i was very fond of listening to the cairo radio for the recitation of quran by sheikh abdul basit or sheikh husri rahimahum allah so at 11 o'clock at the night in the winter you know i my ears were ready to catch the words iraq al jumhuriyat al muttahida al arabiya hun al qahira and then you know the recitation from to iza is broadcasting anything has come to them regarding peace or war and it was very important in those days if somebody has brought a news well such and such tribe is pre preparing to attack madina now the right attitude would have been take this news to muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam or to other responsible peoples who have been assigned duties ulul amr they would infer from it they would investigate no no not going to them spreading it so that people get panicky waiza jaahum amru min al amn wa al khauf azau bihi wa la radduhu ila al rasul wa ila ul al amr minhum had they referred this that, that matter to the messenger of allah had to people who are holding the reins of power or authority who are at the helm of affairs it would have come to the knowledge of the people who could deduce from it infer from it istimbat to differ to deduce and infer walau la fadlullah alaykum wa rahmatuhu and if there had not been the grace and mercy of allah over you 
لَتَّبَعْتُمُشَيْتَانَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا You would have followed شَيْتَانَ and Iblis except only a few of you. It's the grace of Allah. He's protecting you, O Muslims, from all these menaces, from all these evil designs of these munafiqeen. فَقَاتِلْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ Now this is the toughest ayah on this subject. And the last one also. A Muslim, a true woman will shiver at listening these words. فَقَاتِلْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ Oh Muhammad, you go to war for the cause of Allah. لَا تُكَلَّفُ إِلَّا نَفْسَكُ you will not be held responsible except for your own self. A true moment would have trembled at these words. If nobody else is ready to go out, well, I will go myself. Oh, prophet, you go. You proceed. You don't look to them. Whether they follow you or not. Whether you accompany them, you or not. فَقَاتِلْ فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ لَا تُكَلَّفُ إِلَّا نَفْسَكُ you are responsible for yourself. Now just recall to your mind what happened to Hazrat Musa. It is in Surah Al-Ma'idah. When there was a command, now go to war. The whole community replied, Go you and your Lord. Make war. We are sitting here. Zami Jumbad na Jumbad Gul Muhammad. We are here. We are not going to move. What did Moses said at that time? Alayhi salatu wa salam. Rabbi inni la amleku illa nafsi wa akhi. I don't have any authority except over my own self and this and my brother Harun. Alayhi salatu wa salam. But these terrible words. Faqatil fi sabiil Allah. Oh Muhammad, go ahead yourself. La tukallafu illa nafsa. You will not be held responsible except for your own self. And exhort the moments, persuade them. Tahris and tahris. A very small difference. Harrid. To motivate. To exhort for something. Harrid al The true moments. They will be moved, inshallah. They will go with you. They will accompany you. Asallahu an yakuffa baas al-lazina kafaru. Maybe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala very soon holds back, controls the strength of these people who are unbelievers. They are waging war now against you, but a time will come. Their energies will be finished and exhausted. So that as if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has held them back. An yakuffa. Allah will hold back their hands from this fighting. And verily Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the strongest in power and fighting. And he is the strongest in giving punishment.